Servos! They're great for robotics and home automation. It's a little controllable motor. It's like a dial. It moves to a set position, depending on the degrees that you give it. It's got three wires, ground power data, and it runs on a PWM pin. It's super versatile and super useful. We put a red wire in the red pin, black wire in the black pin. The color of the wire doesn't actually matter. We stick the data wire into pin 9, which could be any PWM pin, but it's indicated in the example code as a 9. Give it 5 volts power and ground. Head up to your file menu, examples, and then scroll all the way down in libraries to servo. Grab the sweep example. What do we got here? We're defining a servo from the library. It's a type of object called a servo, and then we're calling it my servo. That can be whatever. It could be George. I'm going to call it George. Pause is the position of the servo in degrees. It usually goes between 0 and 180 in this sketch. However, as we'll see, most servos can't actually go all the way from 0 to 180, so we'll be adjusting that in a minute. In the setup, we're going to attach George on pin 9. And then down here, we've got a couple of write functions, which we are using to write values to the servo, so I'm going to change that to George as well. This might not have been the best idea. Okay, so here we've got kind of a new thing. It's a for loop, and it takes some arguments. That means that in parentheses after the for, we give it three values. The first one is the initial condition that triggers the for loop. So if position is zero, and that's how it's set in the beginning, so that's going to be triggered right away. The second one is while this condition is true. So while pause is less than 180. And then what comes next? is usually a sort of mathematical operation that we perform upon this variable. So in this case, we're incrementing it up by 1. This plus equals 1 is a variation on the incrementation that we did before. Instead of pause plus plus, we say pause plus equals 1. It's the same thing. So after that, we have a couple of steps that we can perform inside of this loop. Uh, and that's, we're going to write the position variable, its current value, to George. Remember, that's going to be incremented once each time we go through this little loop. Um, so we're going to write that new position, and then we're going to lay for 15 milliseconds. And then we're going to loop around again to the start of the for loop. The first part doesn't matter anymore. We're just checking the condition to make sure that it's still true. Now that we've added 1 to it, pause equals 1. Um, that's fine. We're going to increment it to 2, and then we're going to run the two steps again until we hit 180. Once we do, then we exit this loop because the condition is no longer true. We run right into the next for loop, the opposite of that. So here we're starting at a value of 180, which triggers this for loop to go. And now until pause is 0, we're going to subtract 1 from it and then run the same two steps as before. Write the new position, wait for 15 milliseconds. Only when it hits 0 this time do we exit this for loop and then do the whole loop all over again. Let's check it out. So one full back and forth sweep equals one iteration of the entire Arduino code loop. I even add a little code here, adding an LED on pin 13, which is usually built in, and switching that on and off on each iteration. 